Hi, welcome to my very untidy workshop, but it's much tidier than it used to be. I was just about to do another painting and I realised I didn't have the correct size of board that I needed for my painting. And it made me realise that I had never talked about what I paint on and how I make and prepare the boards. I've already filmed this and I don't know what I did. There was some sort of corruption on my computer. It destroyed all of the footage. So I'm going to make this a new thing because I don't want to do it all again. <laughs> it's going to be a three minute tip or something like that. I don't even know if you can see it. I'm sorry. I'm not trying very hard today. Okay. What I use for my boards is moisture resistant MDF. You can totally just use canvases bought from the shop and art panels with canvas on that kind of thing. I'm not a fan of the texture of canvas. I just realized this is meant to be three minutes, so I better speed up. Okay, start the clock. It's very strong. It's very smooth. I mean, it's really strong. If you post this to someone, if you do a commission and you post it to someone, it will arrive in one piece, especially if you pack it reasonably well. And you can also cut it to a size you like, which is what I do. I use, I buy them eight foot by four foot sheets for about 20 pounds each. Uh, I use eight millimeter thick and I cut them to whatever size I want. This is a 12 by 12 inch. This one is 15 by 12. The cost, the massive eight foot by four foot board, which you don't have to buy that big. You can get someone else to cut it or buy it from the shop smaller. That costs 20 pounds. This costs 10 pounds. Assuming you use all of it on one board, which is not gonna be the case, it works out at about 7p a square inch. So this 15 by 12 costs 90p. This 12 by 12 is 72p. It's really good value. And it's extremely strong and will last forever. Also, I use museum quality paints and um, gessos, that kind of thing. So it should last a long time. This is gonna be longer than three minutes, I'm really sorry. It's waterproof, and once you seal it, it's awesome stuff. So I'm gonna quickly show you how I do that. So this has just been cut. It's got sharp edges, they're a little bit furry on the corner. So you grab any old bit of sandpaper. So that's it, it's been sanded. The very sharp corners are no longer sharp. Next, it needs to be sealed, because it's a little bit furry and the paint will kind of get sucked in there. So what you do is you get some sealer. This is called Guards High Performance Sealer. I think it was 10 quid on Amazon. Seal the edges. The edges are the most important bit to seal. Put loads on the edges. It'll get sucked right in. I'm gonna to have to fast forward this bit. That's absolutely loads on there. Right, great. Get yourself a piece of wood with three nails or screws stuck through it. Paint one surface. Make sure that's really well covered. And that's it. So that's one side done. You'd wait a couple of hours flip it over and do the other side. Here's one that needs the other side doing. This, this side needs doing and the other side's been done already and is dry. Okay, this bit now requires a gesso. So get yourself a little container. I'm using proper acrylic gesso primer, which is white and I've added to it raw sienna, cadmium orange, and a little bit of Mars black. Mix that up. There you go. Now if you want texture in your painting, you can put texture into your, your gesso. I used to put loads in, but I found that too much kind of hinders the painting process and also it can kind of catch the light funnily when you when you varnish your painting. There we go. So done. Once this is dry, which will take a few hours, it's fully ready for painting on with whatever you like. Oil paints, acrylics, anything you like. 
Bye. Oh, completely forgot. Another reason, oh, I've got, I'm covered in paint. <sighs> okay, another reason I like to make my own size and make it custom is that you can buy much cheaper frames for your artworks if they are a standard size. And you can make sure you cut a piece that's a standard size. I'm liking square at the moment. So this is a frame for a eight, no, 10 by 10. This is 12 by 12, so it won't fit, but you get my point. What I do is I buy a frame on eBay. So I've tried many sellers on eBay. Most of them are rubbish, but I've found a couple of good sellers now. And it's taken me a while. And they send me the frame I want and it's cheap. It's about 10 to 15 pounds. Obviously bigger is more expensive. And then it doesn't matter what color it is because I will paint it my own. I like a really dark gray for my paintings. Uh, but that's another little tip for you. Oh, it's, th it's Thursday. It could be three minute tip Thursday. 30 minute tip Thursday. I don't know. Tell me what it should be called. Bye. I'm such an idiot, I'm sorry. Oh God, it says 18 minutes. I'm so bad.